One clinic here in the valley helps children with critical illnesses. They say that they have been struggling for months now with the impact of the cyber breach. And they're worried if this continues without any help, they'll have to turn some patients away. Jacqueline Schultz has a story you'll see only on Fox 5. We take care of over 300 children in the school district alone that have feeding tube orders while they're at school. In the last four weeks or so, we're down about 40% in collections from what we would expect to be. After a while, we're going to have some trouble, uh, you know, making rent, making payroll. Five doctors in this Las Vegas clinic treat 1,300 children a month with critical illnesses. They may need feeding tubes, have liver disease, or cannot eat or swallow. There are only 10 pediatric gastroenterologists in the state of Nevada. Pediatric Gastroenterology and Nutrition Associates has been in the Valley for 35 years, but now a small clinic continues to suffer from the hack impacting change healthcare. And unless more progress is made quickly, staff may have to turn away some patients. We don't want to be in the position of having to make decisions uh, about who to see and who not to see based upon financial concerns like that, but we don't do anybody any good if our doors are closed. Change Healthcare is a critical tool used by doctors and hospitals nationwide. It's an information bridge between insurance and providers. Medical practices need it to verify insurance, book your appointments, issue prescriptions, and get the green light for medical procedures. When the hack was announced in late February, problems began to grow for Dr. Barron's clinic. Verifying eligibility, so if we had a patient who needed a procedure for example, there would be a significant delay. And of course, we started to notice cash flow issues after a while. We're at risk for not making payroll. In the last four weeks or so, we're down about 40% in collections from what we would expect to be. Months of pending claims with no payments from Medicaid means it's hard to pay the bills. He says other small practices have faced similar challenges. In March, Fox, I've told you of the plight of local home health care companies and workers who face delays getting paid. Over the past few weeks, Change says it's made major strides in restoration of service. A calendar lists when programs will get back online. Hopefully we'll see the results of that in the next few weeks. Hope doesn't pay the bills. We're expecting that, that we may have to start making uh, adjustments in terms of what patients we see. Jacqueline Schultz, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. A spokesperson for Change tells Fox 5 they've given close to $5 billion in no interest loans to help struggling practices pay the bills. Practices do not have to pay Change back until all the issues with the hack are resolved. That could take months.